enough to get you by. Hi, Chris. I'm dead. Hi, son. Chris. Son, from what I understand, you opened this place about 6 o'clock in the morning. You're here till 11 when you finally do open, and then you stay till 4. I mean, I don't even know how you're making enough to pay the bills, never mind support yourself. You can't shut everybody out, son. Hire some workers. Keep the place open a little bit longer. Take care of yourself and stop shutting everybody out. You're never going to heal if you try to shut everybody out. Listen, if you can't do it for yourself, do it for your mother and me. Take care, son. Sir! Excuse me, sir! Hey, Dave. Hey, Chris. Hey, you know anything about that homeless guy who wanders the street? I got a familiar feeling about him, just don't know why. I don't know much about him. I think his name's Joe. Joe, huh? Yep. Hey, how, how's business going? Could be better. Well, from one business owner to another, you could open up the store a little more often. Yeah, I'll take that under consideration. Thanks, Dave. See ya.
Joe! Excuse me, Joe? Talking to me, son? Yeah, Joe, right? I didn't think you'd recognize me. Yeah, well, you want to come in out of the cold? Well, that's awful nice of you. Between you and me, I don't like Flatbush all that much. <laughs> yeah, well, my name's Chris. Pleasure to meet you, Christopher. You look so familiar, I can't place you. I'm sure you'll figure it out. One usually does. Yeah, well, you can stay here as long as you like. I'll be back in the morning. I really appreciate that, Chris. You're not going to loot my store after I leave, are you? <laughs> no. If you can't trust yourself or your own instincts, who can you trust? Yeah, well, good night. Ah, good morning. Good morning. I thought you could use a good sweeping up around here. Eh, uh, you don't have to do that. Well, I thought I ought to help. Well, I brought you some clothes if you want to get cleaned up. Oh, wow, that's really nice of you, Chris. Yeah, well, there's a bathroom in the back. Take a shower. I'll finish this up. Okay, thanks. Well, look at you. Well, some people still won't. <laughs> <laughs> so, do you accept my offer? Offer? Well, you're nice enough to let me stay here, so I need to help out somehow to be your helping hand. Beautiful words. My grandfather. There was this black man walking down the street, got jumped by two white guys down on Sullivan. My grandfather intervened, which is a big thing for a white person back in 47. Turns out it was Jackie Robinson on his way to his first Dodgers game. Generosity is a family trait. He was a great man. Not so far from yourself. Sorry, but we're not open yet. Your sign says you open at 7. But the sign on the door still says we're closed. I just gotta grab one thing. Do you mind? Yes, I do mind. Now, if you could please return when the store is open. Well, don't worry. I won't be coming back. Is everything all right, Chris? Yes, everything's fine. There was just a rude woman that just came in here. Well, what'd she want? She didn't need to come in. The sign on the door says that we're closed. It's past seven, isn't it? But the sign on the door still says that we're closed. Okay. Hello. You okay? Yeah, don't worry about it. You sure? You look like... I said don't worry about it. Okay, you want me to go ahead and file the inventory sheets? No, Nadine does that!
to? I'm sorry. There's some things that I can't help, and no one else can either. How did it happen? What? Your family. He called him Dougie. Must have been hard. I can understand. You can't. Sorry, Chris. You don't know what it's like. You don't know what it's like. Son. Duke. I know what it's like to lose your family and your livelihood in one turn of the corner. I know what it's like to feel like the world has turned its back on you. And I know what it's like to turn your back on the world and feel like you don't want to go back again. I made the same mistake that you want to make, but mine was from the bridge. I jumped, but I was picked up by a barge with nothing but a broken leg. Even that didn't jar me loose. When I saw you that first time two years ago, I knew I couldn't let you make the same mistake. That's why I'm here now, to help you move on as you've helped me, to show you that the world is still here, that you're not alone. How could I move on? The only thing that could have helped me has been taken away. That's where you're wrong, son. What are you saying? You're the only one that can open that door, Chris. You're the only one that can tell us that you're open for business. I locked the world away and didn't want to return. You show me that one unexpected person can be the key that unlocks that door, Christopher. But my store, it's gone. The bank is- Don't worry about that. You'll be here for years to come. I've seen to that. Duke, I'm still not sure I understand. Well, if you hit a foul ball, you can't run. But you do deserve another swing. What do you mean? What I mean is, you're still at bat in the game of life, Christopher. As for me, 40 years is a long foul ball. Wasting more time isn't going to help. I think it's time for me to get back in the game. Take another swing. I'll stop back once in a while. I think you might need a good sweeping up. Thank you, Duke. No. Thank you, son.
just enough to get you by. the lie backwards Now I'm sure you'll explain why And then take it back afterwards Maybe just one 